developing syntax. Similar evidence against imitation as the basis of the child's speech production has been found in studies of the syntactic structures used by young children. So, the similar evidence against imitation. So, the children do not imitate the speech of the adults that are around or those are around them. So, one child specifically asked to repeat what she heard would listen to an adult say forms such as the owl who eats candy runs fast. So this was the sentence that was uh, given to a ch uh, child to repeat. But what the child said is owl eat candy and he run fast. So if we look at this the syntax is there the same but the uh, word Word forms, especially the verb forms are child's own. We don't see S with eat and S with run. So, the child does not imitate the whole thing from the elders. The child understand what the adult is saying but just has her own way of expressing it. So, the children while learning their first language have their own ways. They know what they listen to but they use their own uh, language sty learning style. There have been numerous studies of the development of syntax in children's speech. So, linguists made a lot of studies to know how, uh, how much they follow the, uh, or imitate the adults and how much they use the, their own learning, uh, learning of the language. We look at the development of the two structures that seem to be acquired in a regular way by most English speaking children in the formation of question and the use of negative. So, uh, in English, we know that there are different types of interrogative. There are WH interrogative and there are helping verb interrogative. Similarly, when we come on to a uh, negative sentence, and neg when children has to, uh, uh, have to make a negative sentence, uh, it's not simple. They, you have to use helping verb as well. So, uh, there are uh, there appear to be three stages through which they learn interrogative sentences and negative sentences. The ages at which children go through these stages can vary quite a bit, but the general pattern seems to be that stage one occurs between eighteen and twenty six months. So in stage one, the child learns to make, uh, make uh, interrogative sentence or negative sentence in the first stage. This is not the complete sentence or this is not the sentence which should be used by uh, adults. So, this is, uh, this is the time when the child starts uh, making an interrogative sentence, right? And, and also a negative sentence. Stage 2 starts between 22 months and 30 months and stage 3 starts between 24 and 40 months. So, these are three stages uh, during which a child starts learning to use an interrogative sentence and a negative sentence. So, they start using sent interrogative sentence in the first stage when they are 18, between 18 and 28 months and in the third stage, they finalize their learning and start ma making uh, send interrogative and negative sentence the way they should be made or the way they are made by adults. The overlap in the pre periods during which children go through these stages is a natural effect of, the, of different rates at which different children normally develop these and other structures. So, uh, the, there can be some more or less time in these stage because uh, it depends on the development of the uh, children. So, but uh, most probably these three, during these three phases or stages, the children learn to make interrogative as well as, as, well as negative sentences.